Hey guys, just a change of scenery, but welcome back to my channel. This video, I am going to challenge myself. So I'm going to clicks and I can only use 500 Rand to get like a skincare routine. So probably going to stick to like the essentials, maybe like four or five product, five, a hundred Rand each. Yeah, like four or five products, like just like, you know, like a basic skincare package and that's the maximum amount I can spend. So I'm gonna try to see what I can get within that price range and then we will discuss what we found and hopefully my skin doesn't break out like that other video that I did with the Discam cheapest products. Cause whoo chow, that was the ghetto. If it's your first time here, my name is Cheats coming to you with all your African skincare and beauty tips. So hope you guys are ready for this adventure. I think I am. Um, last time was a bit challenging, but I think I'm more prepared this time I'm, I'm grown. So, Good luck. Wish me luck, guys. Fingers crossed. And I'm gonna try go to a like a smaller clicks because if I go to those big stores, I and mean, then I just end up like feeling pressured. People are asking if I need help, and then it's just shenanigans. So I'm gonna try go to like a quieter one, but hopefully it's not like quiet with its products also because that's that's not the storyline here. Okay, we made it. Okay, so I made a list and I'm going to try to do maybe a cleanser, a toner slash exfoliator, uh, maybe a serum, if, but serums will just eat my budget, uh, moisturizer and SPF. So under 500, I'm in the wrong aisles. That's the thing that clicks eh? it's just all the things, all the things. Um, okay, let me find it. I feel like I chose the wrong clicks, eh? It's a bit thin. Okay, so a lot of people have been suggesting this Porsche M brand okay let's try it i'll try the toner okay that's 48 bucks now i need a cleanser i'm not using this again i'm actually not doing that thank you okay, uh, i feel like we've been trying neutrogena so i'm gonna skip that okay so i'm not too fussy about cleansers like i mentioned so let's try this that's 68.99 from nivea Instead of a serum, I think I will get a mask. Because, I mean, a mask has serum on it, right? Let me actually try these sorbet ones. I've never actually tried the sorbet. Okay, there's a hydrogel one. Ooh, these are expenses. It's 69 bucks. Okay, time to do some calculations. Okay, so right now, we are still under 200 bucks which means i think i can get a serum hey should i risk it okay because i want to try something new let's try this brand i think it's south african this is iwari the day cream it's a bit pricey 159.99 so that means no serum because the serum will just chop my money chop my money okay and now we just need a um SPF. So I actually found the other stuff because that that thing was looking very thin. So thankfully, I found the other products. But these are a bit out of my price range. I just need a face uh, sunscreen. Okay, so time to pay. Hopefully, it's in the budget. I did some rough calculations. I should be fine. But guys, next time I'm just bounced at the till here yeah? because I'm literally only spending 500. If not, something's going back to the shelves everything let's see what the damage is so that actually worked out because I had um, I mean it was like 20 bucks on my clicks club, club card the points that you can use for a discount so I used those and I was under budget so I actually just <laughs> save some coins guys I know it's only 20 bucks but a coin is a coin especially when you're on the budget okay so we are back and just to show you guys the slip, we've got everything that we got in clicks. In total, it was about like 450 or something. And then I used my clicks club card points. I mean, I didn't have a lot, it was literally like 16 Rand. But I was like, you know what, I might as well save my points. I didn't know what the balance was at the moment at the time. So that actually worked out well. So we were like 63 Rand and a budget. I mean, I feel like I could have thrown in another mask or something, but it's okay. We got what we needed. It's done now. And yeah, let me show you guys what I got. 
I actually ended up with this like 500 Rand budget thing I actually ended up getting like a lot more South African products which is actually great because I've been planning on doing a video purely using made in South Africa brand something's leaking in your gross um, so this will be like a nice intro so some of the products are made in South Africa and yeah I think it's time that we also just got our skincare game up you know why are we using all these international German brands? Like we've got, we've got the things here. So first up is the cleanser that I got. I just went basic for a cleanser. I went Nivea cleansing uh, foam. I've never used this before, but I mean, how bad can like a basic cleansing foam from Nivea be? Yeah. So I wasn't too fussy about like cleansers, but like I don't want something to like break. Guys, I'm done getting my skin tore up for videos for for likes. It's not a thing, because that, <laughs> whoo, that cheapest skincare I could find in this game video, it took me a while to recover, so I'm not doing that anymore. Like, with this, even though it was, like, within a budget, at least I wasn't, like, getting, like, the, you know, the cheapest stuff that was just going to break me out and tear me up and knock me out and just, you know, do the least. And then next, I got a toner. So, a lot of people have been liking this brand. It's called Porsche M. The thing, I just don't like the color, just like so yellow, it just feels like it's doing the, the most, you know, like, but apparently marula fruit is good for our skin, and this is a toner, clarifying toner, which is going to purify and clear out impurities. Okay, we'll see about that. So let's just smell this actually. Okay, it doesn't smell like... It doesn't sound like anything. It's not aggressive. I think just by looking at the color, I was like, nah, this is really just gonna tear me up. Let's see this cleanser, what this, what this smells like. Okay, that's fine. And this is a cleansing foam. Sometimes foams can be like too aggressive because of the foaming agents, but it feels fine on my hand. Okay, so far, I feel like we're going to something. I feel like we're going to something. So I actually just want to look up this Porsche M product. New hair, who this? Oh yes, okay, so Porsche M is black owned, which we love. I mean, that's great. South Africa, South African and black owned. That is just like amazing. Um, based in Centurion, established in 2011. Okay, but I only started like seeing it in the shops maybe this year, or maybe I wasn't paying attention, but Definitely been seeing more of it and hearing more of it this year. Specializing in quality skincare and locally sourced ingredients. So hence the marula and stuff like that. They really want to stick to African like ingredients. African indigenous oils. Mm, yes. This is Portia. Okay, do you think Portia? So I wanted to get a serum, but a serum literally would have been like at least 250 and that would have just taken like the whole budget. So I had to switch it up and use what I could get. And instead of a serum, I got a face mask because if you think about it, a face mask is actually just a sheet mask or hydrogen mask drenched in serum that you're gonna let sit on your face. So this is pretty much serum, just in a smaller dosage, just like a use once sort of thing. Okay, so this is from Sobe. I've never actually used Sobe skincare products. So I was like, this would be the perfect time to maybe try out a product. Um, before committing to like a whole serum and I think people are liking the Sobe skincare range and they're focusing a lot more on that which is amazing everyone's jumping on that skincare bandwagon nowadays eh? so this is a hydrogel mask which I love that that's like that jelly sort of consistency it's not your normal tissue um, sheet mask and this is the what does this one do this one's hydration with sea minerals collagen and hyaluronic acid which we love Okay, and then next we've got another South African product, I think, I'm pretty sure it is. Ooh, let me not, um, let me not play everyone. Okay, I think it is. Um, this is Iwori, I think I'm saying it right, correct me if I'm wrong. Iwori, Iwori, Beauty of Africa. So this, I got the day cream. It's got SPF 15, and this is also marula. Y'all are just coming in with this marula nowadays, eh? 100% organic African marula. 
Now I feel like I should have some Amarula here. Eh? I don't even like Amarula, it's just like milk vibes also. Um, and milk is... Oh, no. Okay. Nice packaging. This feels luxurious. Yes. I love like something that just makes me feel great. How much was this? This was actually the most expensive thing that I got. It was $159.99. So $160. I hope, it, I hope I like it because... I actually don't want to be throwing stuff away. So, just put some on the hand there. Cause that actually feels good. Smell. I don't know if I like the smell. It's not like, it's not aggressive, but it's, there's something going on there. I don't know if I want to walk around the whole day with this. But it's fine, like I can deal with it. Okay, this is nice. This is luxury. Okay. Yeah, so that's what we're doing it, guys. And let me also just read up on this quickly. Yes, I'm ready to like this. It's giving me like body butter smells though. You know like body shop things? And I'm never really here for that though. What's nice is they say their products don't contain silicones, sulfates, parabens, mineral oil, petrolatum, um, and more ingredients or byproducts, which is great. So the marula tree and its oil is hydrating and moisturizing. Okay, so they have got um, this Marula range. There's also a ba Baobab, that then no word always gets me, range, and a Rooibos range. Oh, there's also hair care. Where have I been? And then lastly, I don't even have to say and the most important because we've covered that before. Like, you should know by now. SPF, this, this is a brand that I think I've seen this name, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Demelan? Demelan? I don't know if this is South African. But anyway, it's UVA and UVB, so broad spectrum. SPF 50, and hopefully it is not a white mask sort of SPF. I mean, from the ingredients, it does. it is a chemical sunscreen, so it should just blend in and make us protected from the sun without looking like a ghost. Let's try it. Don't fail me now. Because packagings, let's see my downfall. And the test. Okay, it's a bit thick, but it's, it's going in, it's absorbing. We are ghost proof, ghost free, purple haze free, purple rain free. It's just sinking in. It's a bit, it's a bit thicker in consistency, like it's like a full-on cream, but like I ain't mad at it. I ain't mad at it. All right. I keep acquiring like sunscreens that I'm actually like liking, which is great. It's just now a matter of using them. I have a feeling it's South African. There's something about these promo pics just, that just look South African. Don't come for me because I don't know what that means, but you know what I mean. Okay, and there we have it. So for 437, you can get like a quite decent like skincare routine maybe the serum mask thing because the mask is like a once off you might need to like actually get a serum but like spend a little bit more still you'll still be like you'll be good you'll be good um next video i am going to be showing you guys how to use these products what i think and just if i will use them again or buy them again and if they're worth my coins i'm particularly particular 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 I am more interested in this um, Porsche M thing. That's what I really want to see. Like if I like it or not, and I'll use this for a few days. The rest I'm sure will be fine, but we'll still give them a go. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Here's some other videos for you guys to watch. Please make sure to hit the thumbs up button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell so you don't miss any posts. Anyway, cheers guys. Hope you guys have a great day. Bye.